accident was, was very shocking. I mean, very shocking, because I did think he was going to die. I was the most surprised, not by the fact that I lived through it. I was never nervous because I was unconscious because everyone else was worried about it. I came to him and I didn't know where I was. In fact, lovey Rick told the Sizzler he was more worried about losing his vitals. When I woke up, it was like five days later, I was very groggy because of the drugs, and uh, there was this thing sticking up my <laughs> That's the first thing I thought, what, what's this? I'm trying to get out and Abe was there trying to stop me. And he said, don't do that. Oh, God, what's this thing doing on my <laughs> He thought I was going to pull my Luckily, Aid won the tug of war and Rick remained ship shapen Bristol fashion. I have to thank him for saving me. And the nurses, of course, down in the Plymouth Hospital. Uh, I have to thank them, but largely Adrian for saving my. But Aid has noticed the change in his pal. His head injury make it difficult to talk to him and he can't remember anything. Uh, but apart from that, he's, 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 you know, we just push him about and he's all right. But now Rick will do anything his director asks of him. The more he hits me in the film and the more he says, why don't you just fall downstairs and bang your head at the bottom? I'll do anything for him because he's saved And next week, the Sizzler will be talking exclusively to the boys about their new project and taking a sneaky peek at what's the plot in Guesthouse Paradiso. More swearing and...